Welcome to 130 Low Street in Tavernier, Florida. First, we're just gonna take a quick look at the street here. At the far end of the street on the east side, that's US-1, the Overseas Highway. And as we look around, right across the street, you can see that there really are no neighbors directly across the street. There's just a driveway entrance to an estate that sold for about $6 million. And there are neighbors going on down the other side of the street on the other side of the property. But overall, it's a very quiet street. Now, this property is fully fenced in at the 25 foot setback in the front of the road. There's a six foot fence, so there's lots of privacy here. This is a historic Tavernier property. It can be improved upon, but it cannot be torn down because it's in the historic district. This property does have a new roof recently redone air conditioning and new windows with accordion storm shutters and the owner had started fixing up the inside but besides from the bathroom um, the rest is for the new owner to imagine and redo so there is a screened in storage area here as you walk on the front porch All of these things will be taken out shortly. But there is a screened in area. Here we have the front door and a really nicely sized front porch area where you could have a seating area. And enjoy the outdoors. So let's head inside. I also do wanna show you that there is a special storm shutter on both the front and the back door um, that can be closed from inside the house for somebody who wanted to actually weather a hurricane. So we're stepping into the main living area. There is space for a nice large sectional sofa or two sofas, however you'd want to set it up. It's an open floor plan that heads into the kitchen. You'll see that there's really not much of a kitchen here right now. So this kitchen would be for you to reimagine how you would like to set it up. But there is plumbing for the sink. There is electrical for the stove. and a nice space available to create your dream kitchen. This home does feature two bedrooms. So the first bedroom is off to the side of the living area. There's currently a queen bed in here and this room does have a small closet. And we'll head back out into the living area. Take a look at the bathroom. The bathroom was recently renovated. Hello. Got a nice new shower. Hello. The glass door. Pedestal sink and toilet. This is my knee. And then the second bedroom also has a queen bed in it. Not real big rooms, but just enough space for a bed and a, maybe a small dresser. And this room has a slightly larger closet. So we'll head back out into the main living area. out the back door onto the covered porch. There's a roof over a very large porch area. When you first walk out, you can see you've got your washer and dryer out here. There's multiple areas out here 
that you could really reimagine into a very large uh, covered patio area, um, space for both dining and um, a sitting area, lots and lots of potential all in this covered porch area.